25 years after the brightest stars in music recorded We Are the World to aid famine relief in Africa. The stars are aligning again. This time, a new cluster of talent recording a new version of that classic song and joining voices in harmony for Haiti. Juju has more on this. Well, Robin, you know, back then, the song We Are the World topped the charts throughout most of the world in 1985. This time around, the star power includes Celine Dion, Pink, Barbara Streisand, Usher, even Jeff Bridges. It's the same tune, the same recording studio, except this time shot in 3D and dedicated to the recovery efforts in earthquake-ravaged Haiti. There comes a time when we heed a certain call it was 1985, and the biggest stars in music came out to give their gift of song, raising $30 million to help children starving from famine in Africa. And now, 25 years later, an entirely new crop of performers is giving an encore for Haiti. The original musical gurus are still at the helm, Quincy Jones and Lionel Richie, who co-wrote the song with the late, great Michael Jackson. They're joined by Wycliffe Jean, who reminded the artists of the song's importance. What's bigger than a contribution is the fact that you lend your voice. The 80s extravaganza was a who's who of the recording industry. Now it stars like Jennifer Hudson, Josh Groban, and Celine Dion, who took on Cyndi Lauper's impassioned verse. For us to be here, for me to be here, um, it's a responsibility. I defy you not to get that song I'm stuck in your head today. 83-year-old Tony Bennett singing with 15-year-old Justin Bieber. And when the rapper Lil Wayne was told he was doing the Bob Dylan part, he said, I don't know how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he figured it out, but you know. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. They all figured it out. It's terrific. Thanks, Juju.